Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for September 5th, 2022. In Copenhagen, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark attended the 2022 Stock Exchange Sustainable Summit held at the plant. The Stock Exchange Sustainable Summit is a platform that brings together international business leaders to share their experience and knowledge on how to combine a healthy business with a high level of green social responsibility. In the afternoon, the Crown Prince joined Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Mary of Denmark to attend several events in connection with Flag Day 2022. Flag Day honors and remembers the brave men and women of the Danish Armed Forces who are or have been sent on a mission by Denmark on the basis of a decision by the government. This also includes personnel from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Rescue, Preparedness, Police, and Health Services. The day began at noon with a solemn wreath-laying ceremony at the Citadel. Thereafter, the Crown Princely couple, along with members of the Danish government, men and women of the Danish Armed Forces and their families, attended a service at Holomans Church in memory of fallen soldiers. The day ended with a parade at Christiansborg Slot Square with hundreds of attendees, including members of Danish Parliament, the government, foreign dignitaries, and relatives of fallen soldiers. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, as patron of the Rungsted Lund Foundation, attended the Rungsted Lund Prize Ceremony. The prize is awarded to an individual who has helped to spread awareness of the Danish author Ms. Karen Lixen, or who has excelled in a field that had Karen Lixen's interest. The winner of the Rungsted Lund Prize went to author Mr. Peter Hoag for having followed in, quote, Karen Lixen's literary footsteps with an originality that has, among other things, global and historical parallels." End quote. Along with the prestige of the prize, Mr. Hoag also received 50,000 Danish krone. Congratulations. Yesterday morning in Roskilde, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark attended the consecration of Ulla Thornbjorn Hansen as a new bishop of the Roskilde Diocese. According to the Danish newspaper SN, a total of, quote, 23 bishops, of which nine current and seven former Danish bishops, as well as bishops from the four other Nordic countries, the Faroe Islands and Greenland, participated in the Episcopal Consecration. In Germany, their Serene Highnesses Prince Gustav and Princess Karina of Sayen Wittgenstein Barlberg have confirmed that they will attend Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark's Golden Jubilee celebrations on September 10th through the 11th, 2022. Prince Gustav is the only son of Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark, Princess of Sayen Wittgenstein Barlberg. In Monacoville, His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Jacques of Monaco and Her Serene Highness Princess Gabriella of Monaco began their first day of school. This morning, Their Serene Highnesses Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco walked a short distance with their children from the Palais Princière to the Princely Twins Private School. After a brief photo op for the press, hereditary Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella went on their merry way, smiling as they saw their fellow classmates. In the afternoon, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco officially opened the new AS Monaco Performance Center in La Tourbe, France. It's a cute little town that borders Monaco. Anyway, during today's opening, the Sovereign Prince gave a speech stating, quote, A new page in the history of Eos Monaco opens today. This performance center, equipped with ultra-modern facilities and numerous spaces dedicated to excellence, represents a strong statement of intent for the club, for the players, and for all those who love Eos Monaco. Congratulations to Mr. Dimitri and all the players of the club on the success of this project which will allow our club to continue to progress and reach for the stars. I am convinced that AS Monaco, through its performance, will give us all plenty of happiness. I would also like to salute all the teams who participated in the construction of this magnificent complex. All my best wishes for this AS Monaco Performance Center." In Amsterdam, Her Royal Highness Princess Katharina Amalia, Princess of Aranya, not Orange, Aranya, began her first day of classes at the University of Amsterdam. 
The princess is enrolled in the Politics, Psychology, Law, and Economics PPLE program. The PPLE program has an application and selection procedure, which the Princess of Aranya went through in its entirety last year, according to RVD. In Madrid, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain held an audience with the State Attorney General, Mr. Alvaro Garcia Ortiz, who presented His Majesty with a 2021 annual report of the institution held at Palacio de la Zarzuela. Thereafter, His Majesty met with the President of the Constitutional Court, Mr. Jose Gonzalez Sanchez, who also presented him with an annual report for 2021. In Jaweda, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, as the Supreme Commander of the Jordan Armed Forces Arab Army, inaugurated the Latrun Military Hospital. After the inauguration, His Majesty, accompanied by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Major General Yusuf Hanetti, was informed of the hospital's capacities and the Royal Medical Services development plans. Thereafter, His Majesty toured the 6,700 square foot meter facility, which has a capacity of 105 beds. The new hospital includes an emergency room, an operations room, an intensive care unit, radiation wards, as well as several specialized clinics. Yesterday morning, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan received credentials from newly appointed ambassadors to Jordan held at the Basman Sahar Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors are from Thailand, Spain, Ireland, Belgium, and the Swiss Confederation. His Majesty King Abdullah also accepted credentials of non-resident ambassadors from Malta, the Argentine Republic, and Ecuador. Last evening in Yokohama, their Imperial Highnesses Crown Prince Akishino and Crown Princess Kiko of Japan attended a traditional Ryukuren dance performance to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Okinawa's return to Japan. Last evening, the Norwegian television network TV2 aired an exclusive interview with Her Highness Princess Martha Louise of Norway and her fiancé Shaman Durek. In the interview, the couple discussed various issues, including Shaman Durek's thoughts about his future father-in-law, His Majesty King Harald V of Norway, stating, quote, He's wise, and he has so much knowledge. He is so kind and compassionate. He understands everything, and we talk together. We listen to each other, end quote. Shaman Durek also spoke out about the constant criticism as well as harassment he faces online and in the press. If you're interested in watching the exclusive interview with the princess and the shaman, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to the TV2 interview. It's all in English. On Saturday in Vienna, August Frederick, Prince of St. wittgenstein berlberg married his love of three years, Miss Mia Rolla, at the St. Nicholas Church. August Frederick, Prince of St. wittgenstein berlberg is an actor, who has appeared in various movies and television series, including the not exactly historically accurate show, The Crown. In 2018, August Frederick appeared in the television series Das Boot, which is a remake of the 1981 classic Oscar-nominated film written and directed by the late Wolfgang Petersen and was based on the 1973 German novel by the late Luther Gunther Buchheim. Miss Mia Rolla was born and raised in Austria, her father is Martin Rolla, a wealthy entrepreneur, investor, organic farmer, as well as a founder of Good Shares Limited. Miss Mia Rolla was a former model, signed with the Wiener Agency in Vienna, and is currently a licensed psychologist, according to the German magazine Bild. And finally, also on Saturday, Ludwig, Prince of Bavaria, participated in the 2022 Lions March. The purpose of the Lion's March, which was 100 kilometers from Schloss Kaltenberg to Schloss Neuschwanstein, was to raise money for the Prince's nonprofit organization, Learning Lions. Learning Lions enables, quote, young adults in marginalized rural communities of East Africa to become digital creatives and live a life full of digital opportunity right from their home regions, end quote. If you're interested in learning more about Learning Lions, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to their official website. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.
I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday, September 6th with all the latest royal news, and it's going to be a very busy day. <laughs> so until then, I wish you all a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.